Well, hello guys. Today I am back with three more tags. They're actually really short tags. I believe the longest one has four questions. The shortest one has two questions. So I figured I would do just one compilation video um, and include all these tags, especially because I want to catch up with all the tags and that would be 14 separate videos, which is a lot. And most of them I probably will do in separate videos just because they're so long and I like to ha kind of have that compartmentalized feeling to my channel, I suppose. Um, and it makes it really easy to find one specific tag. But these ones are short, so I'm gonna do them together. I will include all the type tag questions below. I will also link all the original videos below. And I will link Heather Stitch's playlist that includes all the original tag videos so you can check out what tags you would like to do. So here we go. The first one is the Mrs. Baker Girl tag by Mrs. Baker Girl. Number one is how long have you been stitching? Um, I've mentioned before I stitched when I was about 14. I did like four little tiny projects, um, but then I just, you know, life took over um, but I recently started stitching again in February of this year it is 2015 so I've only been stitching for a few months but I foresee that I will be stitching forever pretty much so that's that number two what is your favorite thing you bought for cross stitch I'm assuming that this question is more about like not like patterns or charts or kits or anything like that but other stuff that I've bought and that's a little bit hard for me. I think for the moment, one of the favorite things I bought for cross stitch is my stand. It's a very inexpensive floor stand. It's available at Michael's, but it kind of has helped me uh, work with parking um, due to handed stitching and it's been really helpful. I did recently purchase a lap stand as well but I've yet to try it out because I've been working on a bunch of little projects. So I think um, for now I'm just going to say my floor stand just because it makes working on my heaven and earth which is my first one a lot easier and I just didn't see how I was going to be able to do a design that large in hand so I'm really glad I bought that. Number three, if you could do a Disney cross stitch, what would it be? And she's not talking about the already existing uh, kits that are out there. I believe there's about 11 of them. Um, but just if you could pick something from Disney that isn't already designed, what would it be? That one, gosh, I mean, there, there's so much stuff I would love to do. I think even though Cinderella is not my favorite movie, out of all the Disney movies, I think it would be really cool if somebody made a stitch of her in the middle of changing from her raggedy ripped up pink and white gown to like when she's doing that like oh motion and she's getting the nice Cinderella gown. Just I can imagine that shift would look awesome. The beads and the sparkle that would go into that would be really really awesome. Okay, then number four. Out of all the cross stitch magazines or books, what is your favorite? I recently subscribed to Cross Stitch Collection and I'm really enjoying it. Um, they include a lot of designs, a lot of Joan Elliott, which I've mentioned in another tag is my favorite designer, um, and similar designs. There's some Leslie Tier designs which are similar and just other similar designs. So I'm really enjoying Cross Stitch Collection. And if you like Joan Elliott or her type of designs, then I suggest you check it out. All right, so that is Mrs. Baker's Baker Girl's tag. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is the floss tube tag by Sherry Burkett. Um, there's only two questions, so here we go. Number one is what is your favorite cross stitching app? I kind of laughed at that one a bit. I don't use any cross stitching apps. I don't know why. I know a lot of people enjoy them and like them, but I haven't. I do use a cross stitch calculator for fabric, but it's on the computer. I know there's an app for that, so maybe I'll download that. But actually, I'm really interested in listening to all your answers, and I've heard maybe two or three people answer this tag. So I'm definitely interested um, to hear what you say. So maybe I'll check some of your app, favorite apps out and maybe find one, find one that I enjoy using. Um, so yeah. And number two, what is what video editing software do you use? I use Windows Movie Maker. I have a Windows computer. I believe I do have Windows 8, which is what you wanted to know about, Sherry. But um, I just used the Movie Maker. I'm not really sure if it came on the computer or I had to log on. I mean, I think you download it, but I'm assuming when you go on there, it kind of checks 
that you have Windows or Windows 8 or any Windows installed and then it's like a free download. It's not not it's nothing more you have to pay or anything. I like it. I feel like it's probably pretty simple. Um, there are things that I would like to do that I have not been able to do with Windows Movie Maker. I feel like some of the things I may just not know and I have to play around with. But I feel like there's a few things that it just doesn't do. So I'm definitely interested in maybe getting some other video editing software. I don't know if I'll find something that I like going the free route, I might have to purchase something, but we'll see. But for now, that's what I use. It works. Um, it does transitions, which is one of my main things because there'll be a noise or I sneeze or something and I like I like cutting that out and being able to transition instead of it's like cut. So I do like that I can do that. I can include titles, but I really don't. Um, I know you can do captions on there. I've used that before. Um, you can change like to like sepia or black and white. I haven't done that yet for a video. I kind of like the color, and especially if you're showing cross stitch, you kind of have to have color. But maybe I'll do one just for fun one day when I'm doing one of these tags or something in black and white. Um, but yeah, that's what I use, and so far it's worked. Maybe one day I'll try something else, but that's what works for me. Alright, the last tag I'm going to do is going to be the panda tag by Stitching Panda. And that one's three questions, so here we go. Number one, what is your favorite fairy tale or storybook character and has it influenced your stash? Now, I know she specifically mentioned not Disney because she really wants storybook, not movie or anything. Like, not just any fantasy character or anything like that or fairy tale character that from Disney she meant a book. So I'd have to say probably not. Um, I do have some favorite books that I enjoy. I definitely like Harry Potter and I'd like to stitch something Harry Potter related, but I haven't yet done so just because I have so many things I want to stitch. Um, but I don't know. Like when I think back to fairy tales, I really, I mean, obviously I think Disney, but not Disney. Like a lot of fairy tales exist with um, within the... Um, fairy tale universe that are also Disney or Disney five because they're not as the original um, stories. I do like the Brother Grimm fairy tale a lot. I'm trying to think of ones that I really enjoy. I think it'd be really fun to stitch something from Seven and One Blow. That is such a witty, fun little story from the Brother Grimm. I think that'd be fun. So I'd have to say. I would like that, but I haven't been influenced. I know she mentioned Wizard of Oz, I believe Little Women, and Anne of Green Gables, and she collected a lot of that. I feel like I'm still very much exploring, and I haven't picked something that, you know, just because I like the story or anything like that. The only one that I do know that I have in my pattern is the Lady of Shalott. It's the famous painting that depicts the Lady of Shalott. It's not really a story, it's a poem and I remember really enjoying it in English class. And I definitely want to stitch that and I'm thinking of maybe stitching the poem, though I know it's really long, so maybe in either small letters or pick sections of the poem and kind of display them side by side. So I guess I could say that, but in general I feel like no, my um, book choices have not influenced my stash. Uh, number two, what is the most unique place you brought your cross stitching? Please share the story. I really don't have a really unique place. I know I've stitched in my car before in a parking lot. I remember doing that once when it was raining really bad and I just had to stay in the car. It wasn't recent even though I did have to, I did get stuck in my cart recently because it was raining really bad. But it was some other time and I was just, okay, I'll just stitch, but obviously nobody was walking around to kind of look and be like, what? Um, I've stitched, I do have one, I do. I was with my husband at a magic tournament. He plays Magic the Gathering at our local like game store and I took a kit and I started kitting it up well not kitting it up because it's it was kit but like organizing the floss because the floss wasn't organized and I managed to get a few stitches in but I actually spent most of the time just organizing the floss because Bucilla doesn't organize the floss in their kits so yeah anyway um and it was pretty cool I mean I definitely had some people look and like I remember one person mentioned oh I tried that once before it wasn't really my thing well uh, there was another person who was like oh that's cool it's cross stitch right and I said yeah yeah it is I'm so yeah, like I was just so excited that this person knew what it was then there was another one who's like kind of like I think I've seen 
I don't remember if he said his mom or his grandma. He mentioned some female relative and I really don't remember which one. He's like, something like that. Is that kind of like crocheting? And I told him, well, not really. And he's like, well, there's needle and thread. And I'm like, wow, okay, this person does not know about cross-stitching. Um, but yeah, so that was, I guess, my unique, most unique place. And can't believe I almost forgot that. It was a fun experience. I thought it was really cool. He was doing one of his hobbies. I was enjoying mine. I was there to accompany him and other people kind of kind of checked out what I was doing so that was pretty cool yeah and the last question what is the favorite pattern you have whether it's stitched or still in your stash or a whip and please show it or a picture so this is really difficult because I like a lot of my patterns like I really like a lot of my patterns and kits and all of that and picking one is really difficult but I would have to say at the moment my favorite is the heaven and earth that I'm stitching it is called unleash the butterflies by Cindy Nielsen I am stitching the mini which I'm extremely grateful was available because it's a great way to start. It's also a black and white design, which I think attracted me because I do like sketching and drawing um, in pencil. I'm not very good at a, like color pencils, drawings, or marker drawings. I do paint, but if I'm drawing, it's usually black and white, so that really attracted me to the picture. Two, it's got butterflies, which I've mentioned I really like, and it's just a beautiful image, and I'm really enjoying it, and for now, I think it is my favorite of all the ones I have. So I will include a picture at the end of the video. I feel like a, a few of you have seen it because I've shown it before, but yeah, you want to see it, so here it is. And those are the three tags I'm going to do for today. So thank you so much for watching and checking my videos out. Um, again, all the information for these tags are below, including the um, Floss Tube original video tag, tag video playlist. Um, so you can check out all the tags that are out there um, and do some yourself. So yeah, also I am definitely writing my own tag because I am enjoying this immensely. So I'll probably put that out within the next day or two. And I really hope you guys answer it. I'm really excited to hear what your answers are. I try to make the um, questions as unique as possible. Um, some I'm honestly just asking because I wonder for myself like oh what about this what about that like should I get this should I get that or what can I do for this so a lot of the questions are geared around that to hear what you guys like to do so that I can maybe get some ideas for my stitching and some I'm just curious about so I'm really excited I will upload that soon um, I would love to hear your answers and I will continue doing the other tag videos until I'm entirely caught up so I'll see you next time bye